Hello folks, welcome to Lester's. What I've got on my bench tonight is an RCI 69 FB4. It belongs to me. Uh, it's one of the ones that I own. I've decided to get rid of one of them. And I decided to get rid of this one because it still has the blacktop DEIs in it. I bought the uh, Toshibas to put in here and just never got around to it. Yeah, I think most of you guys know about those round to it. So there are the DEIs right there. Okay. And because of that... I'm probably going to let it go for about $600. But then if you want the Toshibas, I can install the Toshibas. They're 2879 red dots. I can install those in here for you for another $300. I bought those transistors back before they got crazy on the price. Oh. Uh, for 2879s, not the red dots, but the 2879s, RF Parts now wants over $200 a piece. The red dots, I think you can still get for about $110. But I purchased them in 2016. I just checked the date. It was 2016, July of 2016, when I bought the transistors. That's when I gifted myself this radio. <laughs> I used it in the truck for a while and took it out and replaced it with another radio. So I'm going to sell this one. Like I said, uh, this be $600 and you can pay with PayPal. If you're interested in it, then send me an email to LCTS. 13LCTS at gmail.com. Okay, just remember Lester's Custom Truck Shop 13 Lester's Custom Truck Shop or LCTS 13 LCTS. That's what the Gmail is. Okay, and it'll also be on the beginning and end of the video so you won't have any problem. But you know, if you buy the Toshibas uh, for me to put in here, I'll go ahead and, and install the high-speed fans, the internal high-speed fans, at no charge. All right. But if you want the uh, 2879s, the red dots, it would be an additional $300, so $900 for the radio with the red dots and the high-speed fans. Okay, now it does have some scratches on it, but let's let's take a look at the power first. Pretty sure everybody wants to see that. All right. One second, let me set the camera so that it won't be moving around. Now then, I've got a, uh, what is that, 500 watt in peak, and I have a 250 watt in RMS, okay? Now, I'm on AM, I've got power turned all the way up. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. We're dead key in right at 100 watts. We're going to read on that top scale on the RMS meter, which is the one on the left. Peak meter is the one on the right. You can see we're in the times one position, so we're reading on the middle scale. Audio. So we're doing a little bit over, swinging a little bit forward on the 100 watts. Or, yeah, 100 watts and swinging a little bit forward. We're doing 
over 500 peak on AM. Okay. I'm going to switch to lower sideband. Hello, audio. That's 250 watts RMS. And audio. Over 500 peak. Okay. That's on the DEIs, guys. Of course, if we put Toshiba's in here, it's going to do going to do more power uh, and also you know I, I mean I just know from experience how to set it up to get more power out of the Toshiba's uh, the DEI's this is about all you can get out of them okay all right let me put it back together might want to see the inside of the amp again that was with a stock microphone okay that's the inside of it there's the inside of the radio I have set the bias and tuned the radio up I haven't done the less calm enhancements I can do that if you want me to It'll be a $40 charge for that, if you want that. But when I put this one in service, I was in hurry in a hurry for a radio because I was traveling. Uh, making a trip, actually, to buy more radios. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Let me put it together so you can see what it looks like. There is some scratches on the on the the uh, top of the bezel, so I need to show you that. Here it is with the covers on it. Got all the screws put back on it. But right there, let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it like that. See those scratches right there. Now that's that corner, top corner is the only place that's got severe scratches but they're they're like tiny scratches on the top of it don't know how they got there it was radio wasn't like that when i when i put it in but i have no idea how those scratches got there oh uh, but that's the only place See the bottom of it looks good the face of it looks good No scratches on the face and the radio works great you know if you want a good AM and sideband radio with uh, all kinds of bands this is it all right now uh, I was in high there's low that's where it starts okay and we'll go to high that's where it ends okay and yes that annoying roger beep works Mike gain, RF gain. It's really nice radio. And you guys know these things are hard to get. But this is a 69 FB4. Okay, which means it has the bipolar transistor amplifier. All right. Okay, first one to email me and tell me that you want it, it's yours. And you need to let me know whether or not you want the uh, the Toshibas. If you do, I'll send you an invoice for the radio and the Toshibas. Okay? All right. 7-3, everybody.